Something which is a a perennial topic for me, uh, which is that um, uh, Michael Knowles, who I'm a fan of, I actually... Hey, Kevin, how's it going? I have some serious respect for Michael Knowles with respect to a lot of things. But boy, howdy, is he unbelievably retarded when it comes to anything to do with libertarianism. It is unbelievable how... I, I think I'm I think I mean this literally retarded he is. Um apparently on uh, Timcast who's already a little bit uh maybe unnecessarily milk toast. Um Knowles he criticizes libertarianism in the same breath as as putting forward points which would, if he were the least bit honest or self-reflective, um, be arguments for libertarianism. And what I mean by that typically is um, is he will he will argue about problems that come up in the ostensibly private sector, and he'll point out how well government is in bed with corporations, yeah. and this is terrible. And we need to we need government to stop the government from being in bed with corporations. Because these corporations are the real bad guys, and the government is just what we, as conservatives, need to take over, uh, so that we can be the one in ones in bed with these corporations, and we can punish the bad corporations and wield the power of government. Is my impression of him decent? I think. I think it's okay. Um. Anyway, yeah, that is uh, that's that is once again retarded. <laughs> um. All right. Cool. Where, where's, I forget where this needs to go. Hold on. Uh, Thalmberg. Thalmberg. Okay. Need to ride to this bad boy all the way over to Thalmberg. I'm just going to quick travel it for now and see what happens. Um, because again, his point, his point usually is, uh, is undermined by the fact that, uh, by all of these times where he says an armed man. Let's see what's up. Fuck. Jesus Christ! Okay, I won. Sakura. This is not my day. No, Here, no, sir. Take your coin and run along. Anyway, um, typically what will happen here, and typically the problem with Noel's reasoning, uh, there is no one here. Okay, never mind. Typically the problem with Noel's reasoning is that uh, he points out what is actually a problem. Um, entirely caused or mostly caused by government interference in the market and says, see, see, look what the market does. See what we need to use the force of government to prevent. It's, it's unbelievably irritating because I, I just want him to say, like, to sit down for literally any length of time with Dave Smith. Because they're both genuinely funny. They're really quick witted. They're jovial kind of guys. And man, they would have a good conversation about this stuff. But they're but I don't I don't see it happening, unfortunately. I'm, I'm disappointed. Kevin says, yeah, it's so frustrating how easy it should be for the right and the left to agree on defunding corporate welfareism. Yet it's one area where the libs and the neocons agree to ignore. That that's not quite the case, I don't think. Uh, I think it's not that the libs and the neocons agree to ignore it, it's that politicians agree to ignore it, and all constituents on both sides see it as a problem. Um because it's massively, massively beneficial uh, to politicians to have corporations um, basically in their pockets. This one is from Neuhoff. Yeah, I do. Like I said, it's um, again. I think that largely the misalignment is between the powerful and the powerless. And the powerful are those who are who are the state or who are aligned with the state. So that is state actors, obvious, especially deep state actors, if you will. Um, but then also the people being exposed by things like the Twitter files. And like this is one of those things where where Knowles is always always talking about, well we have to we have to wield the power of the state against entities like Twitter. Who are trying to censor conservatives. Well, 
yeah, that was the might of the state that was censoring conservatives, you dimwit. Greetings. Uh, gosh, anyway, what do you it's, need? it's all really rather silly. With you. Yeah, most of most of Knoll's uh, objections to anarchy, especially to libertarianism in general, are exactly the same kinds of things that any libertarian worth his salt, so basically, you know, Mises, Mises caucus type libertarians, right libertarians, anarcho-capitalists, those types, us, would completely agree with and then say, yes, and the state is the problem, not the solution. And that's painfully obvious from your own points. So it, the whole thing is, is oh God, it's all very silly. It's all very silly. But, uh, but I get it. He's all, he's, he's enamored with this, this apparently novel idea of wielding the might of the state. He's Boromir. That's all. Or he wants desperately to be. Sir Divish has sent me about the race. Race? He's got more of a figure yes. of Faramir. But... I to tell you he wants to arrange a horse. All right. Anyway. Yeah, that is, that's one of those things that I would love to, uh, to see just sort of hashed out among, well, could be allies. I can't say would be allies, but I can say could be political allies. Because like, I gotta say, I, um, I agree with a lot of a lot of Knowles, at least his sentiments, if not his his uh, solutions. Certainly not his solutions. Um, but I certainly agree with a good deal of his sentiments. So, you know, I think there's 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 fertile ground for agreement, despite uh, despite obvious disagreement. But, well, I don't know. We'll see. Someday, maybe there will be some kind of rapprochement there. <laughs>